you happy to be joined now by the assistant head coach of the BYU Cougars, Ed Lamb. He's also special teams coordinator. He's the safeties coach. Even though he's not wearing a hat right now, he does wear a lot of hats. Ed, uh, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for letting me be here. So we will obviously get to a lot of football during this interview. But in our last segment, we had the Nakua brothers. And a big theme with the Nakua brothers is obviously family. And I know that family is a major part of the BYU football program. So I actually wanted to ask you something about your family. You have a, um, a situation in your family that a lot of other families in this world um, are faced with. You have a special needs son. He has autism. His name is Edward. Um, but you have been able to find something that has really helped your son out. Some uh, some therapy that involves horses, right? I have, yeah. And and for years, as you know, from the time we we knew that he was going to have some challenges and we were going to be along for the ride on those challenges, I've been trying to find things that we could, he and I could do together. And I've shared this story with with people before and. And that was that was difficult. You know, we went through the realization that he's probably not going to be an athlete. He's I, I remember I tried to take him out golfing. I enjoy golfing. So I tried to shove him in the cart and <laughs> see if he would enjoy that. I got out for the first shot and he was three fairways over sprinting across the golf course. Um, this this past about 18 months or two years, we've we've fallen in love with uh, with the horseback riding because of the reaction that we get from him when, when he gets on a, on a horse, and it's become part of our daily life now. And, and there is a BYU football tie-in to this, isn't there? There is, yeah, a couple of different ones. One of the, one of the ones that uh, doesn't get talked about as much, so uh, Dwayne Riggs, his, his sons Austin and, and Dalton soon coming back off of a mission, he invited our whole coaching staff up for a horseback ride in Idaho. And uh, you know, some of our coaches didn't exactly enjoy that experience. It was about a seven-hour hard ride. Um, I got a real kick out of it, and um, and uh, short. In fact, on the drive back, uh, Coach Tuiaki and I were talking about how much we enjoyed it, and we remembered that when when we had recruited Tyler, that his his father on the Tyler visit, Batty is who you're talking. Tyler about. Batty, his father on the visit, was dressed head to toe cowboy, and uh, we thought, you know, there's probably something there. We just need to go down and, and volunteer. Like, let's work and be around horses. It was, you know, COVID had kind of set in and we weren't invited on campus anymore for a while, working remotely. And uh, we went down there and, and even the first day, uh, Lane Batty ex uh, explained to me when I commented on his outfit, this is not a costume. And he took me from head to toe on every every element of a cowboy's outfit and why it's appropriate <laughs> for, for horseback riding. And he's taught us so much, but the biggest thing is he's introduced horseback riding to my son and, and made that uh, available to us. And uh, it's, it's changed his life and changed my life. Well, um, Tyler, we're not just talking about Tyler. Tyler's actually here. So actually, yeah. why, don't we, why don't we bring Tyler in uh, to, to the conversation here? Uh, Tyler Batty joining us up here on the second floor now. What a, what a phenomenal thing that's it's happening around your family. And um, we'll... We'll get Tyler here in the shot. It's, it's something that obviously Ed and his family, the Lamb family, are extremely grateful for. And I know it's something that uh, you and your family are super proud about. Yeah, um, absolutely. <clears throat> like Coach Lamb was saying, my dad is a huge cowboy um, and has been since he was a little kid. Always has loved riding horses. And throughout the years uh, has shared his love and passion for horses with a lot of people. Um, of course, that includes Coach Lamb and his family. And so, uh, <clears throat> of course, months ago when, when uh, Coach Lamb and his family came around with Edward and began to, to consistently ride and kind of what we, what we do, what we call it is equine therapy, uh, you know, I got involved, went on a couple rides with them and just kind of saw how, how special it was for them. You started, we've had a couple of your teammates today on various interviews talk about nonprofits that they've started. You're actually looking to, to begin a nonprofit as well. Yeah, we are actually. Um, and it is called Edwards Hands after Coach, Coach Lamb's son. Um, the backstory behind that is uh, Edward, when he's on a horse, um, he, he really enjoys it and uh, he gets excited whether we're going fast or going up steep stuff. Uh, he gets excited and so he, he gestures and kind of flaps his hands. And as, as we thought, you know, me and, and Austin Riggs, son of Dwayne Riggs that was mentioned earlier, um, and one of our other teammates, Drew Jensen, and Billy Nixon, who's helping us out um, with uh, the nonprofits, 
we were just thinking of a name that would really accurately represent what we were trying to do and also have some, some meaning, we decided on Edward's hands just because Edward and his progress is kind of the driving factor behind uh, this nonprofit. Edward sounds like he's a lot more brave than I am. I've been on a horse one time and I was terrified. <laughs> now, it was, it was over 20 years ago, but uh, he, sounds, he sounds like a, like a brave young man. And first of all, thank you both for sharing the story. I know sometimes, you know, personal things, yeah. um, you don't you know, like to talk about those, but uh, I know there are a lot of other families that are probably going through very similar things. And so knowing that there are uh, avenues out there like this, I know uh, can bring in some comfort as well. So thank you so much for, for sharing that story. Um, let's talk a little football here. So earlier today, we had Tom Homo giving the state of the program. As the assistant head coach, how do you, what, how do you view the state of the BYU football program right now? Uh, the, certainly the momentum, the success of last year has created a, an off-season momentum. Our guys really expect to be competitive and good. And uh, the, what seems like it's, it's going to be a really challenging schedule by all, by all standards, I think, has been a real motivator for our players as well. I think we're in, a, we're in an excellent spot. I think we collectively as a coaching staff and as a team have had enough ups and downs that we're not taking success for granted. There's a, there's a real challenge out there for us each and every week. I know some of the fans and maybe even the younger players get excited about P5, G5. Look, there is no guarantee that any P5 team we play is going to be better than any G5 team we play. Every opponent deserves respect. I think our guys are ready to get it. I love the way they're training. For you, Tyler, I know last year you dealt with some injuries. I know that was super frustrating. Uh, but you obviously, uh, on the defensive line, the defensive end position, you know, you're, you're at a position where there were a, quite a few guys that have, have moved on, obviously Kyrus and Bracken, guys like that. Um, when you look at the defensive line, what gets you excited about the possibilities at that position this year? Um, we, are, we are, like you said, we are a young team. Uh, we had a lot of guys graduate this past year, and I think that's that's the uh, most exciting thing for me is is our upside right now. Is we have a lot of potential, we have a lot of young guys, and uh, I think it's exciting for me and for also all the all the other guys, the returning players as well as well as the incoming and and the guys we have now that are younger. I think it's just exciting overall for everyone to be able to contribute and make an impact on the field. Well, and I know, I mean, this could be for either of you guys. I, I know that from a coaching standpoint, it, it's not just who the starters are, but it's all about depth. In terms of overall depth on the defensive side and maybe even specifically the defensive line, how do you feel about the overall depth? I, I, feel, um, I feel fantastic about our depth. I, the biggest uh, question for me going forward is we have a lot of new guys mm -hmm. throughout the defense that are stepping into new roles of leadership. And so it's really about that mental approach and the way they handle that leadership, the way we fight through adversity in games and throughout the season. That's a bigger question to me than how much talent we have. I, th I think we're, we're chock full of talent. The recruiting's been excellent. Nu'utafisi, his crew, what they do in the, in the off-season training. Like, we can stack up against anybody. We feel good about taking the field. Now we've got to do it. How excited are you for Arizona in Las Vegas coming up uh, not too far down the road? Can't wait. Cannot wait. It'll be good to uh, get back in stadiums, and especially stadiums with fans, especially here at home uh, and the games following that. What's this like? Because even doing what we're doing right now, it's been a long, long time since we've had in-person interviews. Is it, is it kind of like riding a bike, or is it still a little weird to be back doing them like this after a year of doing everything over Zoom? Well, for me, anyway, it's such a uh, fresh air. You know, the... I don't want to speak specifically for Tyler, but you know, the, as players, these guys don't have a lot of fear of like viruses and stuff like that. Like they're they're indestructible at this stage in their life, and yet oh, we think so. Yeah, they jumped through every single hoop that was put in front of them by the powers that be for the greater good of the community, and so that they could play the game that they love. And so to be able to kind of marching for be marching forward right now and talking to you guys in person and us sitting here together, like it, it's it's really cool to get back to normal. As we mentioned, limited reps because of injuries, but you did have four sacks. Where do you feel, or maybe when you look at the upcoming season, where do you feel like you fit in and you can make your biggest impact? Uh, at defensive end, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> to answer it simply, um, 
but just taking advantage of opportunities. I think uh, even even in my limited reps last season, you know, there were definitely some missed opportunities there. Um, this season, just focusing on taking full advantage of every opportunity that's presented, I think that's where I'll make my biggest impact. Ed, we mentioned obviously besides, you know, assistant head coach responsibilities, special teams coordinator as well as now coaching the safeties. So you went from the linebackers now to coaching the safeties. Um, maybe just a, a thought on both overall special teams and then the safety group. No, the special teams revolves around the guys who are like actually handling the football, right? And so when you talk about uh, we've got our top two returning snapper, 100% of our snaps from last season, those guys return. We have our obviously our kicker and punter who get a lot of pu publicity and well-deserved. They're, they're excellent at what they do. We've got our, our starting uh, punt returner, Hobbs Nyberg, and, and the, how how well he fields all of the punts, even the difficult punts, was really a huge benefit for us last year, provided some sparks. Kickoff return, Caleb Christensen. That whole core returns, and then the guys around that, BYU, whether I'm the coach or anybody's the coach here, that, that, those guys around that to do the blocking and the tackling and, and run down on kickoffs like it's the privilege of a lifetime for mm -hmm. BYU, that, that will always be here. And so I feel really good about where we're at on the special teams. And then on the safety side of things. Yeah, love, love the, uh, the move. Um, it's not unusual for a special teams coordinator to just consider everybody on the roster his position, and, and that's, <laughs> that's me. I, I, you can't fill out a full special teams component without looking at every guy on the roster, evaluating, motivating, figuring out who these guys are and how they can contribute. And so for me to move from position to position, I've coached them before, excited to be back at safety. He's excited to have Kevin Clune and his expertise at linebacker. We'll get better at that position because of what he'll bring, and I'm glad to move to the safeties. All right, last thing for both of you before we let you go, and we, I, I can't say thanks enough for stopping by. Um, what's the plans over the next little while? You guys you got any vacations? This is kind of the time. If you're going to have a vacation, this may be the time to get it in. You guys have any uh, exciting plans over the summer? Yeah, well, <laughs> For me, anyway, I, you, what, uh, what, what Tyler and his family have provided for me and my son has led to us. Um, actually, we, we now have ha our own horse here in Provo. Really? At, at stables just down the street. And uh, that's what we do every night. And so it really, you know, our life, as you can imagine, revolves around our son and what he can do. And some, some uh, exotic vacations might be out of reach for us. <laughs> but there's, in my mind, there's nothing better than a, a horseback ride as the sun's going down right here in Provo, Utah. That's, that's awesome. Tyler, you got any big plans? <clears throat> uh, practically just continue with this nonprofit. Definitely looking forward to, uh, to getting Edward, of course, back down to pace and get him on some more rides, even though they do have their own horse up here. And, uh, and I actually am getting married next week. So, next uh, week? Indeed. So, so, so this is your opportunity. You give a shout out to your fiance. That's, yeah, indeed. So uh, my fiance, Elena Pastana, shout out to you. I love you. Um, also, uh, just we're headed, uh, yeah, getting married next week and then just hanging out the rest of the summer, getting ready for seasons. So. Where's the honeymoon going to be? We're headed to Cancun. Cancun. Yes, sir. All right. Well, you are certainly going to be busy then. Uh, yeah. Planning a wedding, getting ready for the yep. season. Yep, it's, it's, yep. It's a busy look, summer. You're, you're living your best life. Tyler, Ed, thank you so much for, uh, for stopping by. Thank you for sharing oh, the story and talking some football. It's been fun. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.